All right. I think we're all set. Okay. And Marianne is here? Yes, but I don't know why I'm not on. You have to turn your camera on? It is. I thought. Like in, the, in the bottom left, do you see it says uh, start video? Yes. Is that what I should do? Yeah. Oh, because I saw it and I thought it was. Uh -huh. Oh, there you are. Hi. Okay, good. Good. And Karen's here. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Oh, oh, hi, Peggy. Okay. Oh, and it's just four o'clock? Just gone four, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Should we call, should I call the meeting to order, Nate? Yeah, I think, I think we have everyone here. Okay. Now, when it's on Zoom, do we, um, should we identify who's on the meeting now? We should. So like everybody say their name or should oh, yeah, I just roll, say it? A roll call attendance we could okay, do. Okay, if we could do a roll call. Um, I, on my screen, I'll start at the top, which is Marianne. Hi, I'm Marianne Adams. Jennifer Taub, down to Bruce. I'm here. And uh, Karen? Oh, you know what, Karen, you're muted. I'm here. Hello. Okay, Karen Winter is here, and I think Peggy, you're muted too. Okay. I can't hear Peggy. I can't hear you, Peggy, though. May um. Yeah. A uh, Peggy's mute button shows as mute. I just asked to unmute, but. Yeah, I'm not seeing her mute button. Yeah, it's muted. Does she know how to unmute? Lower left. I don't know. There, she's got it. I got it. Okay. okay. Got it. Yes. Yes. So Peggy Schwartz is yes. here and Jim. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, Jim Lumley's here. Okay, so we're called to order. We're all here except for Greta Wilcox, who had indicated that she's um, on an airplane now. Mm -hmm. But oh, we have okay. to confirm, so that's terrific. Okay, and then and both Nate Malloy and Ben Brieger are here too. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, okay, so we have a, a, we just have two applications today and no other business. I, um, you know, did want to add that, because um, I was a little confused about it, that the reason the, uh, the application fee that we had discussed at the last meeting and the exemptions that we had discussed are not on today's calendar because there wasn't enough we, you know, they had to leave a certain amount of time for posting that publicly. So we'll address that at our September meeting. Right. Yeah, there's a few pending applications and then those topics can be uh, part of the public hearing in September. Okay, but terrific. And I just did want to add as a little aside, because I was thinking about it after our last meeting, you know, our discussion about the application fee and thinking of the house on um, McClellan where three times the applicant didn't come to the meeting. I mean, that was an example where the town incurred expenses, but to, right. you know, to no avail to us. Right. So, um, you know, that, again, if, if there's any questions, that's, that's an example we yeah. can point to. A fee would uh, promote discipline. Yeah, like uh, Nate had said, you might not apply unless you're serious that you're gonna do the work. Right, right. that's the hope. Yeah. Okay, so we have um, two applicants today. Uh, and uh, is, will we start with 154 Lincoln Avenue? Yes. Okay, and we have a, a is it, a doc, is Dr. Kama Enos? I'll promote uh, her to panelist. And their, their request is to install a back deck uh, with stairs. Hello. And and let me share. Um, I do a new share. You know, I think on somebody we're getting some background conversation. Let me just see whether it's me. Yeah. Okay. Great. Bruce, Thank are you me. having one ear listening to music or TV and the other ear on our meeting? <laughs> now he's muted. 
Okay. Oh, now he's muted. Kama, can you hear I'm us? Not sure I'm going to shut it. the door. Can you hear all? Thanks for joining us. Sure thing. Are you the call-in user or is that someone else? I'm not. I'm just on my uh, laptop. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Now, Kama, can you see us? I can, yes. Oh, good. I, I okay. promoted her to panelists, so she, she okay. can, she's off. Uh, That's great. That's great. Right. Yes. You have one have of my photograph. favorite houses on Lincoln Avenue. I live oh, down really? there. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous house. Thank you. Okay. Um, so that's do we, gonna, uh, that's not going to skew our you... judgment at all. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right, right. Of course. <laughs> it, looks, it looks a little like my house. Yeah. Um, so Nate, do you want to, um, do, should I just invite, I'll just invite Kama to make the presentation? Sure. And then, I mean, I can provide comments after and, um, can everyone see the screen I'm sharing? Yes. 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 So, so, you know, what's, what's being proposed is what's back here in green is in, you know, outlined in bold black, you know, the stairs and then the deck. Okay. Um, and then just quickly, sorry, Kama, I might just do a few more notes. Here's the house. And so, you know, a view from the street, the, house, the deck is on the back. And so, you know, if there weren't vegetation, it would be visible at an angle. So it's not, it's not a highly visible structure. It's just, you know, when the building commissioner and I looked at it, you know, there is the possibility that if these trees weren't here, you could see at an angle, you, you know, you could see, at, you know, part of the deck in the back in the stairs. Okay. So we just wanted to be safe and not, you know, yeah. not, not allow this to move forward and then have someone complain and then have us to backtrack. Yeah. Okay. And um, Kama, I should say the way that, you know, well, sort of shouldn't take too long proceed is this is what we call the public hearing where the applicant makes the presentation and then the members of the commission can ask you questions and then we go into what we call, call closed sessions although we're all still here together and then you know we'll discuss it amongst ourselves and you know proceed to a vote so okay. we can give you a response today but I'll turn it back over to you now. No, I, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. I would just like to have a, to build a back deck. Yeah. <laughs> um, it'll be walk out from the kitchen as you can see on the floor plan. Um, and it will, I mean, it will be minimally visible from the, from the street level um, in theory. And eventually when my driveway is less of a mess, I'll use it to park a car underneath. But for the time being, I will hopefully enjoy it um for dinners and yeah <laughs> relaxation <laughs> that's really that's there's, great there's not a whole lot of there there i mean the um the decking material is just going to be simple treks uh gray yeah. is the ideal and all of the other sort of railings around the front porch and the side porch are simple white railings and it'll mirror that as well okay. there's already a floodlight in the back right corner of the house and i think that'll provide sufficient light um not really planning to add a whole lot else there and there's it's not really an aesthetically visible space. So I don't really feel the need to dress it up much more than that. Just simple white railings and um, great decking. That's it. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds uh, very straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are there any questions from the commissioners? Here's, here's the application. I don't know if there's any new information here. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I drive by your house and walk my dog by your house many oh, times a day. Oh, and I really have to crane to see <laughs> the yeah. back of the house. Did you see the, the house before? Because then you would definitely not have been able to oh, see Oh my it. God, I can't even, <laughs> just for those of you, when we moved in, the house was a wreck, but you always knew it, had, it was a beautiful house. And then your family bought it and the, it became a beautiful house, but it, you know, yes, the funny. transformation is unbelievable. Yeah. I always thought it was one of the nicest houses on the street, but I, it's, it's, I digress. It's, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, so here's the description of work. I mean, you're right. It's pretty, a, a pretty simple deck. I don't, there's not much more. Um, Jennifer? Yes. Oh, um, thank you. I'm sorry, Bruce. Uh, I have a question. I, uh, the uh, the deck, how far off the ground is it? It's a 
So the driveway slopes down. It's a walkout basement. Oh. So it'll be okay. underneath that level. It'll okay. Full story. I see. So basically the deck elevation is approximately at the street elevation or the front porch elevation, I guess. Is that correct? Yes. But the but the, the land slopes off to the rear in a way you can't see it. And so that's why those stairs are there. Yes. Uh, to get from the ground. Good. Thank you. I didn't actually realize, so your driveway goes to the back of the house? It goes to the back of the house and there's an area of blacktop at the very back of the house okay. that um, used to abut a two-story garage with a walkout basement that was condemned before I bought the house. Um, and so the prior owner had just sort of had all of the walls pushed in and there was a, a pit that took about seven or eight dumpsters to almost get to the bottom. Wow. Um, I was trying to find, I had an image, but I can't seem to find it out of the back of the house, but um, maybe this, yeah, it's hard, it is hard to see that it does slope uh, quite a bit in the back. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess yes. I have another question. To go back to the previous uh, uh, image, uh, which is the bottom one, I guess, of the, from the- This one? Uh, yes, it looks like that deck at the back is covered, or is that, uh, yeah. you can just it's see a couple of- Yes, is that the is that the deck? Oh no, what is that? That's oh, the side I porch. Oh, I see. It's a side porch. That, well, yes, I see it. Yeah. Right here. Okay, so it, it's 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 a long way back. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually hard to get a picture of uh of it uh, yeah. because of the vegetation. Hmm. Oh, that's amazing! I'm sorry. I had actually thought that the deck was going to be where the side porch is so the house goes way back yeah yeah you can't no, see that at all from the street you can't it just keeps going on forever <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean what what the issue would be hold on i have a new share uh, would be you know like i said it would be if at an oblique angle you know you'd see back so here's the back of the house so the side deck we're seeing now is here and then the deck is way back here yeah, so. I th I think it's appropriate, Nate and and Rob, who's not here. I don't suppose. I think that you know it's it's good to it, to the extent that we can manage it to take the uh, take it quite literally and 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 uh, completely. So if you can see it, we we shouldn't say you you almost can't see it because that opens in a, a matter of degree and and then then there's all sorts of problems about whether it's inconspicuous enough for us not to be here. Right, um, right. So long as it doesn't overwhelm our agenda week after week with uh, things, which it hasn't yet in the three years that uh, I've been here. So I think you're doing the right thing and I think we should get used to being yeah. quite, quite uh, pedantic about this. Right. Okay. It seems to be an excellent design in addition to that and uh, well thought out. Definitely an improvement. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Are there yes. any other no. questions or comments? No, I was going to ask if it's time to make a motion. Yes, right. I think it is. Oh, no, I don't I have my thing up. Yeah, so <laughs> no, I don't know uh, how to... we would, um, we're going to ask to make a motion to close the public portion of the meeting so we can go into the um, closed meeting and, and, and vote. Mm -hmm. So uh, Peggy. I'm, I'm, I'm so moved. Okay, second. I second. Okay, thank you, Karen. All in favor? Okay. Yes. Aye. Okay. <laughs> um, I do. Yeah, I don't. So are there, uh, I'm, well, I, I feel very comfortable with the application. Um, I, I don't see any reason why we couldn't proceed to a vote. Are there any other questions or comments or information? Any additional information any of the commissioners would like? Well, I just had a question. Is the, are the railings in the, will look similar to what's on the front here? Just a square uh, baluster and a simple railing. Is that the plan? Yeah. Okay. Um, if there are no, uh, you know, questions or no, or there is not a need for additional information, um, we could entertain a uh, motion to issue a certificate of appropriateness. Um, 
Well, I've been in the habit of doing that, and I, uh, I, I, I'm, I didn't have my other computer on, so I don't have the text. I can't get to the text. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Nate, if you would uh, uh, just, just use the text that we usually have, which sure. would say that, uh, and the and the property address uh, to to identify the project, and that we. Uh, um, uh, word it's the motion so that a certificate of appropriateness is issued. Uh, there's no conditions, and the findings are as uh, I have typically expressed them. I'm sorry, I I forgot to get my other machine on. We would say it's in keeping with uh, with the bylaws. Yes. Oh, it's it's I've written it all out. Right, I know so you that have. so that no yeah, Nate no. doesn't. I just don't <laughs> have it here. Well, now I can get it. I will no, say, no, Bruce. I think we're good. It. We're, yeah. good. good. Uh, we're good. We're good. Is I'll there a it. second for the motion? Second. I second. Okay, Marianne yeah. seconds. So since we're on a Zoom call and we're not in person, we actually have to do a voice vote. Mm -hmm. So I will stop at the top of my screen, and the first is Bruce to approve or disapprove. I approve. Oh, thank you, um, uh, Marianne. I approve. Um, Karen. I approve. Peggy? I approve. Jim? I approve. And I'm Jennifer, and I approve. Okay, so uh, we are pleased to issue the Certificate of Appropriateness, and uh, Nate can give you the details, but basically as soon as we vote, you'll actually get a formal signed certificate, but I believe you can begin to do the work before you actually have that in hand. Yeah, you can uh, follow up with Jen Mullins, uh, the permit administrator, and she can coordinate the, the building permit and everything, so that should be all set. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. No, I had no idea that house went so far back. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Like I said, it is very difficult to get a picture of what. Yeah, amazing. It like. Yeah, it's been added on to clearly over generations. Yeah. But it, anyway, you cannot, it looked like a haunted house before they bought it. <laughs> Oh, but it's amazing mm -hmm. what loving restoration will do. Yes. Okay. Um, and do we, so uh, now we'll move on to our next applicant at 32 Cosby Street, Jesse yeah. Mager. Yeah, let me uh, promote to panelists. Should I be seeing everyone on, on the panel on my screen? I only see a few of you. Hi, okay. Jesse, you're here. I'd have to Stop scroll down. down. You have to slide up or down to see everybody. You, yeah, you, you could hit a grid view depending on how you have your view set up. I can, I have a three by three view right now. Ah, now I can see everybody. And now I only see Karen. No, ah, I, that's I what I have for. You've got to change. I see Karen, Bruce, and Jennifer. And, yes, and, and I just we all, we all only had some. I don't um, have everybody. And if I take myself out, I get one more view. I'm not sure how to how to do how that. Do you know you take what? I'll yourself just, out. How do I do that? that? Upper right, uh, there are three little dots, and it lets you stop the self view. Not on. Um, you, know you just want to see yourself the whole time. That's no. It's it's. I'm on an iPad. I'm I'm going to leave okay, it like yeah. this. Like yeah. That, no, I won't. I won't. Everyone the see whole the thing. new the screen here. The, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And I don't know if you can see um, on my screen, it's towards the bottom, um, the homeowner, Jesse Mager, am I pronouncing uh, that correctly? It's, it's, it's major, but that's fine. Major, okay. Um, I, see, we see, I see you on your bike every day. Yep. <laughs> I'm at the corner. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Yep. Um, so the way, uh, this shouldn't take too long, but just uh, you will you know, present the application and then for what we call the public portion of the meeting, uh, the commissioners have a chance to ask you questions and then we officially go into what we call closed session although we're all including yourself still here and then we'll we may have some more questions at that point and need more information but we'll you know proceed to Under a vote at that point Understood. so if you want to take it away uh, sure so uh and now for something completely different right this is not one of the prettiest houses on the block this is oh it's a lovely house <laughs> and you added on to it but, yeah it's a very nice house thank you thank you um so yeah, we added some mini splits and I apologize. Jesse, could I interrupt? This is Bruce Coldham. Um, could I ask uh, Nate or Jennifer to put whatever imagery we have? Because what I'm looking at is a Dropbox uh, oh. page. 
Really? Uh, can Anybody you guys see the image of a of a Honda Pilot, at, you know, a, a red car in a house? That's what I see. I do. I do. I have it. I've got. I'm looking at a at a. I'm looking at a Dropbox file. I wonder if it's. Is it your own computer? Dropbox Oops, file. It probably. might be, but why would it suddenly have well, let me? Uh, uh, I'm scrolling down a little bit. I'm going to. I'm, I'm at the risk of. Uh, that is well, let's see. I'll, I'll put it to the bottom. Now I'm looking at my own. I don't have anything on the screen other than I, I can see some. Uh, I can see people, but I don't have any. Uh, I, oh my God! What happened? So, can everyone else see what the? You I know, can the, see. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing the car in the driveway. Yeah. Is that arrow now? With a red arrow. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see what happens. Speaker view on your Zoom. Sorry, Bruce. Uh, you have a button that says speaker view. That might bring it back. I don't. All I've got is the little set of boxes up at the top corner that have got people's faces in them. And uh, maybe above that, are there any? Symbols? No, there's nothing other than that. That's all I've got. Hmm. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll just go and uh, I'll go with, the, I, since I now have my whole screen that I can open stuff for my own computer, I'll and look at the stuff. The, uh, I'll get it from there. Yeah, what well, we were sent by uh, Nate. Yeah, sure. okay, we'll solve that problem that way. Okay, okay. keep going. Sorry, Jesse. That's right. So uh, I was just apologizing for things being a little out of order. So we have the mini splits already put in. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't realize this needed to come here. That's clearly my fault. Partly because we're we not the first. Approved, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Partly because when we did an addition off the back, which obviously was approved, that included mini splits, and it didn't uh -huh. even occur to me that that was part of the process. So these are additional mini split condenser for the old part of our house, basically. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, we were planning on it going on the east side, but then when they got here, it wouldn't fit, so they had to put it on our driveway side. We also coincidentally got a free upgrade of a condenser, so it was actually a lot bigger than we expected. Um, and so you can see in that first, we can almost see in that first picture, I put a red arrow where it is. Oh, the, oh, the, oh I see, I thought that was a very large red hydrant. Right, so there, <laughs> there's a picture without the arrow. Um, it's at the end of our driveway, actually beyond the drive a little bit. Yeah, here's, uh, a, here's actually. Five feet tall, there's the other picture of it. Um, and now that that's in there, we'd like to build just a little screen fence so no one has to see it, basically, including okay. ourselves. Um, it's just be a two-sided sort of L of a fence. That's the style we're after, probably horizontal shadow box. We think that'll blend in nicely with our siding. Everything will be painted probably next summer, including the house, so it'll all hopefully mostly disappear. And that's sort of a digital mock-up that I made, what you might see from the street. Oh, very good. Yeah, looks good. Um, and yeah, so it's about four feet on one side, five feet on the other side. And that's really that's it. posts in the ground, and that, that should do it. Okay. Thank you. Are there any questions? Okay. Uh, wait a um, I oh. have one question. It's, it's, yes. a, it's a comment more than a question. Uh, I'm a little concerned. Uh, the, the, uh, these uh, devices really need airflow around them because yep. they're exchanging... Uh, uh, the heat, if they're, if they're heating the house, they're getting it from the air outside. And if they're cooling the house, they're dumping the heat to the outside. So you need the air circulation around these things. And I'm, I'm thinking that you might want to be asking us for a, 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 a screen fence that only has boards on one side, because, so, uh, because you really, in, you really uh, kind of uh, boxed it in so that it doesn't have good air circulation. Point well taken, um, and that's partly why we went with this horizontal shadow box. So there's airflow through the fence; they're just alternating on either side. If you go oh, back, I, I see it. that. I just think you're limit you're and, you're you're limiting the airflow. Uh, does the uh, does the mechanic uh, uh, is he in support of this kind of yeah, enclosure? So, so additionally, that the manufacturer recommends a foot on one side and 18 inches on the front side of the unit, and they said that should be totally sufficient. Okay, so, that's it. I just Sorry, thinking that uh, we would, if 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 uh, if it turned out that you didn't have that clarity and you wanted to come back and just take one of those things off, I thought we oh, might short circuit the process by approving it with or without the, uh, that, that the would second be layer. Point well taken. And so, what would that mean? That 
So I think you're yeah. suggesting just not having wood on the inside, right? So just on the outside, so it'll be slightly more visible through the fence. Is that right? Am I understanding yeah. you correctly, Bruce? Yeah. Yes. I'd be pre I'd be prepared to approve it with or without the slats on the inside, just to give you that flexibility. Great. Uh, thank you, Marianne. So I just wanted to confirm your your what you were saying about your proposed paint job was going to be to blend the box in with the color of the house so that it would be not so ostensibly different. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, are there any other questions? Okay, so with that, I guess we could... Um... Uh, there's, a, there's a hand raised. Sorry. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not seeing it. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll... Kimberly, you're allowed to speak. Hi, I'm the other owner of this house. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't. That's uh... okay. No, no, no. He's doing a great job, and I th hopefully we can approve it with in both with both ways, um, with and without the slat. Okay. That's within and without what? With it, within without the inside um, slat, as the other gentleman was just suggesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so if there's uh, no further questions, um, is there a motion to uh, go into closed session for the vote? We don't have any public uh, attendance. Uh, there's a call in user, uh, but uh, they haven't identified themselves that and um, they haven't raised their hand. You know, that might be the um, Amherst Indy, I wonder. I'd asked if they would identify, but they hadn't. So, you know, I, I think there are comments there. There would have been a raised hand already, but got it. Okay. Um, and all you know, all, all the neighbors are in close communication on Cosby. So I think if it was in a butter, <laughs> you would know what their concern was. I'll move to close the public portion of the hearing. Okay. Uh, second. Yes. Second. Okay. All in favor? Nate, do we really have to do a voice? Uh, not for this, I guess. We okay. Can. Okay. Thank you. So, all in favor? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, um, are there any uh, questions or comments, or do we feel that we can? Well, I guess. Do we want to move to a vote, um, allowing for both options for the yeah. screening? Well, I can put that motion together now because I'm looking at my cheat sheet, so I'm good at that. Okay. I mean, I'm good for that. That's okay. what I mean to say. So, so take it away. Okay, move to approve granting of certificate of appropriateness for the uh, uh, proposed uh, uh, project at 32 Cosby Avenue, um, heat pump and screened enclosure, with the findings that uh, the proposed work meets the review criteria expressed in sections 8.1 and 8.2 of the Amherst Local Historic Bio District Bylaw, and the proposal is compatible with the overall appearance of the neighborhood and will not have a negative impact. Uh, on the um, Prospect Lincoln Sunset uh, Local Historic District. Um, the, uh, the work shall be uh, executed according to the submitted documents um, with the uh, uh, condition that the uh, inner um, wythes, I guess, or slats of the screen fence uh, can be omitted if the uh, owner so decides. Okay, uh, is there a second? Second. Okay, say Karen. Thank you. Um, so now we will have to go to a voice vote, vote since we're zooming in and not in person. So I'll start with uh, uh, Bruce. Yes. Okay, um, Karen. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Peggy. Yes. And thank you, Marianne. Yes. And Jim. Yes. And I'm Jennifer and I say yes, thank you. So um, with that, the uh, application will receive a certificate of appropriateness. And uh, thank you for coming. Great. Thank you all yeah. for your time, Jesse. Good, pleasure. Okay. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so. So that, so that, you know, that um, condenser mini split, that's the type of thing that would, would could be excluded. So, you know, just to give you an idea for what we, Yes. Discussed right. the last two meetings. That's the type of you know project that would be excluded from review. Yes, yes. I have a, I have qu two questions about that, Nate. One is, would that only would that be excluded once it was all publicly announced? Is that what we're waiting for? Yes. 
Well, right. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Once it's once we've decided. Mm -hmm. yes, we have to hold, we're going to hold a public hearing on that for the yes. commission to vote on and them, and then it would be um, it would be part of the rules and regs. Yeah. Okay. Then the second question is, uh, we had included vegetation. Had we included a fence in our um, exclusion? We had said adequate screening, right? I, I forget how the um, exact language. So that's last, we didn't stipulate. Okay. I, I remember I you know, at, our, at our last at our last meeting. I have the draft up right now. It says um, we landed on uh, it remains screened from view with vegetation. So that would mean that. And because the, the fence would need to come before the come. commission. Yeah. And I guess we decided there are too many possible options about fences. Right. That we, right. Yeah. yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, someone could put a cinder block wall and we wouldn't want that. Yes. Right. Okay. So I guess what that does, it allows, you know, a homeowner to install these and then come for a fence later. Yes. That way they don't have to wait right. for the project. The right. yeah. Oh, good point, man. Yes, Excellent. that's a good point. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So um, we don't have any other business or no. sadly, no, we could chat for a while. <laughs> sadly, yeah. I think we'll, um, so, you know, it takes a few, um, uh, you know, a few days to get a legal notice and I'm waiting on um, one or two applications. So, you know, I was thinking the third week, um, third or fourth week in September, the week of the 14th or 21st for a meeting, if that works for people. It works for me. I'm good for either of those. Yeah. I mean, now that we can zoom in. Actually, probably the week of the 21st, just because of uh, the lead time to schedule a hearing. Okay. For the legal notice. So, so would we be staying with Mondays? Yeah, we can do Monday the 21st. We say that. Sure. sure. It, helps, it helps me to kind of get it written in. Yes. No, that's yeah. Good. yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's great because I can schedule the Zoom link and we can get that going. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. And is that Four o'clock, have... Seth? Is that our time? Yes. Yeah. Four. I have it marked. Okay. Great. Thank you. And then and you'll send user, us your... if you want to raise your hand or make any comments, I guess we can. Um, uh, just, you'll, you'll send us the Zoom link same way we did today? Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but I always lose it, so thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have. I have a question since we have, we've only, we, 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 we're at half an hour and we've yeah. really done everything. Um, I want to say that I'm quite enjoying uh, meeting this way. Um, in other words, I, I don't recall, I, I'm, I'm now past thinking that this is uh, a bit of an imposition because of the coronavirus pandemic and that it's actually for me working very well and I'm feeling comfortable. I feel like I'm connected to you all uh, the applicants feel to me as though they are um, having a clear enough opportunity to uh, express themselves. I hope that the public are equally satisfied with their ability to uh, participate. Um, so I guess, Nate and Jennifer, this is a question to you in, in leadership, but also to all of us. My two questions, uh, one to all of us, does everybody feel more or less similar to me? And secondly, to Nate and Jennifer, um, insofar as the mechanics of putting these together, running them and all that, how do you feel from a leadership point of view uh, with this? Uh, is this something that we might consider being able to just continue no matter what? I think the, um, you know, I'll say that we, I think the town is not going to go back to in-person meetings uh, for the rest of the calendar year. So I think the town manager I said that that's kind of been the decision unless something changes pretty quickly. But so we'll be doing this for another few months. And, you know, what I like about it is that it forces me to ask the applicant to provide enough information to yes. then be able to share with you. So yes. we're getting information up front as opposed to a surprise during the hearing. So we've been better about asking applicants to provide images or, you know, any information that could help uh, explain the project. So yeah. In that respect, I think it's been going very well. And then, you know, sharing the screen, if everyone sees that, then to me, it's, um, you know, it's almost the same as if we're in person because you can see, you know, we can, you know, we can see everything together. So I, I think that works pretty well. I think it's terrific. I think it's, well, ecologically <laughs> responsible. And I think 
you know, certainly for people, and as it gets to be winter, you know, that people don't have to come through the snow or inclement weather to make a presentation. Oh, I, I guess my question would just be, uh, is, do, uh, do we have the choice? You know, once the, once town hall is open to the public, could we continue this way or are we not allowed to at that point? We're allowed to operate this way under the governor's orders. Um, so, you know, if there's, it, it could be that uh, at some point this is no longer allowed. Uh, so I, I, I'm preparing for us to, if this is a more effective way, and I hadn't even thought of the snow situation. So remember how difficult it was when we were doing the Amos Media uh, and we, so I just think I'm, I'm getting to thinking that this is a better and possibly a far better way of doing business. And I would like to think that if that's the consensus of the commission, that we could damn well do it this way until doomsday if we wanted. And I, and I would uh, be prepared to argue that, um, that we should. And I'm just getting ready to wonder whether that argument should be going to be put together. Uh, I don't think Jim, you have Bruce. Well, I think Jim, Jim, you have your hand up. Uh, well, I, I'm not quite to where Bruce is, uh, mainly because I think that, however, it does work, it's efficient. Um, I kind of feel we've lost a little bit of, not so much our group, because we spent a fair amount of time together before uh, Zoom came along. But, to, you know, we, we lose a little bit of personal interaction with the uh, with the people that come before us. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that's quite wise. And I wonder, see, we've had fairly easy decisions to make uh, in the last couple of months. You're right, you're that's right. Awesome. And it gets more complicated, something like, and Bruce alluded to, Amherst Media. Yes, absolutely. I just can't see how this is really gonna work. I can't okay. see 20 odd people coming into the Zoom meeting and you know, with being effective or satisfying to everybody. Yeah, good point, Jim. Right, that's a good point. Yeah, they, you know, I've been attending the ZBA hearings for a project where, you know, there's consistently anywhere from 10 to 20 or 30 guests. And it is difficult when, you know, not everyone can view each other. So when the applicant's making a presentation, the, the, the public can't see everything necessarily, can't see the panelists. So we've had meetings where it's been, you know, we can promote applicants to panelists and everyone can uh, can see each other. So I, I agree. I think sometimes with a bigger project or more complex project, but I've also found with those meetings, what's really nice is, again, the applicants are preparing more information up front and everyone's been provided that. So it it's kind of forcing everyone to be better prepared. Mm -hmm. I, I like the meetings in person, even though I, I love the convenience of sitting at my kitchen table and not having to go anywhere. Yeah. But, but part of my uh, part of my desire to even be on on the committee is to is to have the personal involvement with the town yeah. and with, with other other na neighbors, you know, from from within Amherst. And uh, and, and I've enjoy I've enjoyed that. I'm I think we've been very efficient in our use of this. I mean, the, you know what what's available to us uh, technologically is kind of mind boggling, but it, it's wonderful. But uh, sorry to say, but I do prefer the meetings in person. I just think that there's, there's something about the camaraderie of all of it that, that, that speaks to my spirit. So yeah, I, I don't object if the, if the committee decides to keep going this way, but that, that, that would be my preference. So. Yeah, no, I mean, great points all around. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if once town hall is open, that the decision uh -huh. you know, will be a decision town-wide and it probably yeah, won't yeah. be up to us individually. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. yeah, there's definitely pros and know. cons on both sides. Mm -hmm. Right. At some point, maybe we would weigh in on that, but I think, like I said, it's a few months away before even any consideration is, you know, is given. Yeah. And I don't I don't have a hugely strong feeling that I don't right. object to meeting this way. It, mm. It's got its own satisfactions, but that's just my... Well, thank, thank you for uh, reacting to my proposal <laughs> or for my, my thought. That's yeah. very helpful. I, and and you, I only added it now, which yes, clearly is perhaps premature, but, but because we had a nice open uh, uh, piece of time on our agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's good to bring up. And I do think it's worked well, considering we have to do it this way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 
I just saw Jim's dog walk down the stairs behind him. So. <laughs> I, don't, well, you I don't see everybody. How do you, how do I change It's kind that? of fun I, to have those moments. I, I can only do six. I, I can't do everybody either. Okay. Well, I, a few minutes ago, Jim. I, I, I do just simply want to add, and um, you know, uh, the convenience has been very important for me. Mm -hmm. And as you know, I've not been well. So that uh, if we were meeting in town hall, I would, let me just mention now, need to step off the board because I really can no longer make it back and forth, even with Jennifer's generous drop, uh, driving me. So I think that's just something to think about in terms of illness, disability, et cetera. Yeah. It, this is not gonna be an easy decision one way or the other. And I wasn't gonna say anything after um, Peggy's heartfelt <laughs> creed de coeur, but uh, I, I do think it's worth mentioning. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, Marianne, you look great. That is the paradox of all this. It is, I had to write as a joke in my letter to my, my helpers that everybody obviously feels that I'm just crying melanoma to get everybody's attention and really have no problem at all because uh, it just doesn't show. It doesn't show, it's all inside. <laughs> but I also think, honestly, I don't think this is ending any time no, 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 but it's, it's, I just wanted to mention. Yeah, no, no we appreciate that. Yes. But I know. I wonder, can I, I wonder if uh, further down the road, it's also possible to do a hybrid so oh, that right. it's really far away or mm -hmm. feeling that they can't make it, that we have a Zoom. Oh, yes. yes. And some, there could be a little group of people that are meeting in person, but it could still be a Zoom. So you could be connected. Very much like teachers are teaching, right? One, mm -hmm. one part of the classroom is there and yeah. the other is virtually present. Although I, I don't know. That's a good suggestion. We, the town allows remote participation, which yes. before was made difficult because it was only through a phone line and the people that, that were participating remotely would have to have physical copies in front of them. But if we, had a hybrid model where people could use Zoom to participate remotely, then that would make that a lot easier. So yes. it's not a decision that I'm, you know, a part of, but I think that's a good suggestion. So we can always bring it up with, you know, with my supervisors and everyone. Yes. I think the world will look different when this yes. <laughs> when we start to go back to normal. It won't be, yeah, right. we, <laughs> possibilities. Okay. Um, so with that, do, do I actually have to call for, um, I guess, a motion to yes, so the meeting? And I wish everyone um, a good, I guess, summer officially ends this weekend, but mm -hmm. oh, have a good rest of the summer. <laughs> yeah, there's a full moon, too, so that's nice. Right. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> and right, Nate, I always everyone. ask you this. Are your kids going back to school? The, um, we chose a hybrid. Well, you know, I think um, – the school gave the option of doing fully remote or hybrid and the hybrid we chose hybrid but it's uh two mornings a week that's it so two but your school is opening it is um uh i think you know late september early october i forgot oh, what it is okay not yet not okay yet. it changes every day from what i follow in the news oh. it does we just had a new update uh, over the weekend it was different than what we had a week ago so <laughs> all new plan yeah, yeah. yeah. New, okay, so uh, a motion to- Oh yeah, we're back. Everybody. All of a sudden, who did something? Yeah, oh, I yes. was sharing my screen, so. Oh, is that what oh, it was? Oh, great. Oh, that was so, it. Okay, hello everybody. I even have some- oh, Hi, I know, this is great. Oh, see, I'm Peggy yes. at glasses. No Peggy, oh, there's Peggy. Peggy, hi. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I suddenly I, can see too. Right, and now, all, this is funny, I did something about meeting too, because all I see is Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's oh, I got your glasses. Yeah. Okay, so is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Yeah. Okay, all in favor? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, <laughs> a good Cheerio. Labor Day weekend. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.